today specifically, we want to talk about how to effectively use slides. And I'm actually, I'm actually a little um, shocked that you're talking about this because I believe you've told me before, maybe don't use slides. You don't want to talk and present off of a slideshow, but I imagine that there obviously is an effectual way of doing it. So I'm all ears. I don't believe in anything being 100%. There are times you sh should use slides. There are times you don't need to. I very seldom do because when I speak on stage, it's about public speaking. And I might have maybe in an hour long presentation, I may use two slides, yep. maybe three, if any. But other people have a need for them. The problem is a lot of people go running. I have to do a presentation. So they go running to their computer to see what slides they may have, which yeah. means they're basing their presentation instead of basing it on the audience and that audience's needs and wants. They're basing on it, basing the talk on what slides they happen to have in their computer. Mm -hmm. And then they try to shoehorn them in to mean whatever the audience needs or wants. And that's unfortunate. And that's where a lot of people get stuck. Shouldn't it be about them first and then get into us? Yeah. You have to get their attention and get them engaged first. They don't care about you until they understand that you care about them. And we do. Yeah. And, you know, so many of us, you asked, as you got the book, you asked if those slides should be omitted. Yeah. Or don't people want to know about it? It's not one or the other. It doesn't have to be, well, if I want to include this, then I have to have a slide. No one says you have to have a slide for every little thing you're talking about. And I'd be hard pressed to see a slide that talks that pertains to how long you've been in his, uh, in business or any of your history that you can't just say with no slide and be just as engaging in uh, conveying your message that you want to get across. Most people, when they get an introduction, provide a bio. Now there's a difference between a bio and an introduction. A bio is I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And we think that's building credibility. Unfortunately, people are sitting in the audience saying, and what does that have to do with why we're here today? Got How it. does that help me? Now, an introduction might take that you've accomplished certain things and how that pertains to the people in the audience. For you to be pitching in, some, in front of someone, let's say, whether it's you, me, anybody else, pitching in front of someone, we're only in that room because they have some faith in us to begin with. Yeah. If they didn't, we wouldn't be in the room. And then to lay it on thick of, let me tell you more about me, True. which is what a lot of slides do, the marketing slides anyway, is very, very unfortunate. Yeah, because it's, it's not about fest. us. Snooze fest. It's a snooze fest. Like that's, that's when people, and I had this ha actually happen with a client, he would go in and present all the salespeople would be required to present from particular slides. And the first slides, of course, were here are where all our offices are across the U S and Europe. Here's uh, how long we've been in business. Here are the companies we've acquired over the years, all these different slides. And when he came to me, he says, I don't know why, but in the first five minutes, the CEO always gets up, turns to the CFO and says, you know what? Let me know what you think. I'm yeah. out. I said, because you're boring him to tears. He's not there to learn more about. You wouldn't be there if they didn't have faith in you. Remember this. There's no such thing as a PowerPoint presentation. There's PowerPoint software, PowerPoint program. There's PowerPoint slides. It's a creation program. That's it. It's a creation app. There's, you're the presentation. Truth. So slides should be quick, usually image as opposed to text, but not always. Yeah. And God forbid you just stand there and read your slides. It's what we see that bores us to tears. And then we go and replicate when it's our time to use slides or yeah. do a presentation that <laughs> you have to stop and think if that bothers me, why am I doing the same thing? Yeah.